bike technology moves really quickly. Every year new products come out that are lighter, stiffer, more aerodynamic, all supposedly making us faster. But how much difference does it actually make? How much faster are modern bikes? I really want to find out. So do I. Nice bike. Well, thank you very much. Do you uh, fancy a race? Yeah, okay. To the uh, top and back? All right, sounds good. All right, you're on Retro Me. This bike is a genuine piece of history. It's an Orbea ridden to victory in the 1985 Vuelta Espana by Pedro Delgado. This is his actual bike and it is a beauty. Steel frame, Vita 788 tubes, got just 12 gears provided by Simplex, Wayneman rims, Wayneman brakes, Michelin tyres, actually quite wide at 25C. And the only thing missing in fact are the toe clips and straps. So what am I going to be racing against then? What is the modern bike? I guess you could say that this is the great granddaughter of Pedro Delgado's Vuelta Espana winning bike. It's the Orbea Orca M Limited and over the last 31 years she's gone on something of a diet and lost some serious kilos. Now no one has been near this with a welding torch. Instead of nine steel tubes we've got 130 laser cut pieces of carbon fibre that are laid up, glued and then baked together. We've also got carbon fibre wheels, seat post, bars and stem. 22 gears this time, Shimano's Di2, so they're also controlled electronically. And I'm very pleased to say that I've also got clipless pedals on this one. And so what is our racetrack? Well, the summit of that hill up there is 280 metres high. We've got four kilometres of beautiful twisting roads between here and there, and I'm going to race up and then back. Simply time the difference. No power meters, no hiring monitors, we're going old school, purely on feel. How much faster is this bike? Run number one, let's see if I can do a Grand Tour winning bike justice. Now this being 2016, obviously safety first. I'm not entirely sure as well what Mr Delgado is going to make of my choice of footwear and lack of toe clips, but uh, anyway, let's give it a whirl. Oh, down tube shifters. Ah, I get used to that. Now, the uh, eagle-eyed amongst you will no doubt have realised I'm no longer using Pedro Delgado's back wheel. Uh, we might have a problem, Mike. No, I think we've got a real problem. And I don't know whether it's because I've got more power than him. I suspect not. But unfortunately, I broke his free wheel. So uh, <coughs> I've got an entirely retro bike, except for the back wheel. I'll tell you what though, the six speed change shifts very well on an 11 speed block. Run number two coming up. Strava is on. Modern bike ready to go. Let's do it. First thing you notice is how much stiffer modern bikes are. Now whether stiffer is faster, I don't know, it feels quicker. Also changing gear, it's got to save time. I've never ridden a bike with friction shifters before, so as we said, you not only lose so much time laughing around on your down tube, but finding the right gear is an art form. Even when I was actually able to use the right back wheel. I can see a steep bit coming up, so I'm going to have to change gear 
I've nearly run out, despite now in 11 sprockets at the back. Close to the top. I'm getting nervous about the descent. There's a the line. I'm getting nervous about shifting into the big ring. Three. I'm in. Oh man, that was easier than I thought. As we said, I don't know whether it's because Pedro's bike just didn't fit me properly, whereas this one fits me like a glove. But I've got a lot more room here. Modern geometry has us a bit lower. So I find the harder I try, the lower I get. It's like aero groveling or something. Here's the top. There's the finish line. Well, halfway point. Right then. The descent. Venga, venga. Right, stop the clock. That was bloody good. Here we are then. Now, firstly, I would just like to say that this has been an excellent day. But secondly, I suppose we can't escape the cold, hard results. So here we go. Now, on the modern bike, I did my little 5.7K loop in 12 minutes and 52 seconds. And then, on Pedro Delgado's bike, I did it in a little over 14 minutes. Now, as someone has just kindly pointed out on Strava, that's probably the slowest that that bike has ever been. But I would just like to say that I think for the first time in GCN's history, I'm gonna declare this an unfair test. That's right, GCN has not done science because not only do I not have toe clips and straps, I also have just stolen that bike from Orbea's museum this morning. So it's perhaps not in exactly the same condition that Pedro Delgado rode it in the Vuelta. But nevertheless, it was an absolute joy to ride and it's been a fascinating day because those bikes are like night and day. Yeah, that one's heavier, that one's not quite as stiff and it's also only got 12 gears. But the simple fact is the geometry of retro bikes is completely different to modern bikes. So it feels totally and utterly different. The way it descends, the way it climbs, the way you get out of the saddle. Now I suppose we probably should make a stab at answering our original question. How much faster are modern bikes? Well, let's say we've saved four kilos on an 8% gradient, three kilometer climb. That's probably worth a good 15 to 20 seconds. Add in the fact that it is more aerodynamic, even going uphill, that's probably worth about five to 10 seconds. And then descending, the brakes are significantly better. So that allowed me to go much, much quicker. So the fact is, technology has moved on and modern bikes are much faster. Now, if you excuse me, I might spend a bit more time on this one. Oh, sorry, sorry, I appreciate. Yeah, I'm not gonna leave you hanging. Now, if you wanna see some more GCN videos, and if you click just up there, we've got a GCN Does Science playlist where we tackle some of the burning questions about cycling and cycling dynamics. Or if you click just down there, then we've got our previous retro versus modern video where Matt takes Stephen Roach's bike out for a spin. Finally, make sure you subscribe to GCN. You can do that just by clicking up there. <laughs> can I just say that uh, I was taken out last night made to drink copious amounts of red wine and it's just hampered my clipping inabilities just temporarily.